Hello and welcome to F4 Discover Free video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install an MDK ARM plugin for F4 Discover Free so that you can debug and program it using Kill Uvisions on Windows. If you want to know about F4 Discover Free, you can visit our website at www.isenka.com slash robotics slash F4 Discover Free. So let's get started. Here we have an evaluation version of Kill Vision 4 already installed. All we need to do now is to install the plugin using package installer. Within the drop down menu, you need to select Kill Plugin and click Next. Keep it at this default location. The same thing with the Crocox MDK plugin. And the installation is done. Now, I'm going to plug in F4 Discover Free into the USB port. So the first time you plug in F4 Discover Free, it's going to ask you for FTDI driver. So you need to point it to the location where you installed the driver, which is under C program files, Isenk FTDI. Next, there are two ports on FTDI chip, so it's going to ask you for one more time of the driver, the same driver installation. So you need to point to the same location, program files, and some FTDI, and the hardware driver installation is done. Now. Let's try to debug and program a simple blinky LED. As usual here, I provided uh, a live webcam view on F4 Discover Free so that we can watch in real time while we do programming and debugging. Okay, so here under Kill Uvision, we have one project. You need to right click on that project and to set the options. I'm going to minimize this live program queue for a while. And you need to go under the device tab and make sure that the type is STM32F407IG. Then go to the target tab. Make sure that the crystal value is 8.0 MHz and we don't use any operating system. So set this drop down menu to none. The next thing is the debug tab. We're going to use the real hardware, so select this instead of using the simulator. Choose Kukox debugger. Right click the settings, choose the adapter as F4 Discover Free for this JDI and the maximum clock you may choose to up to 2 megahertz. And you can click OK. The last one is the utilities tab. For the target driver for flash programming, also choose Kukox debugger. Click the settings and to make it to make it to make it faster, to make it to flash the firmware faster, make sure that you choose erased affected area only. Click OK and you can close the options. Now let's build the target. I will 
will put the live webcam view back here okay everything is done now let's download the firmware to f4 discover free and there you have it so we have successful successfully flash the blinky LED firmware onto f4 discover free now for the debugging you need to start the debug session by clicking here So you can step through your code like this. So you can read the register value changes there. You can also put the breakpoint. For example, if you want to put the breakpoint right before the LED is on, so you need to find the code which is I believe it is around system E at 32. Well, that's a little hard to find, but you can try to put a breakpoint here, for example. And then you can continue the program run there. And the LED is on. You can put the breakpoint here right before the LED is off and click run and off and on again off and on again you can remove the breakpoint and click run so that's how easy to set up the MDK ARM plugin for KLU visions so that you can debug and program F4 this cover free. So thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in another one.